Hey, what's up, Reefer? Hey, what's up, Reefers? Recently, a lot of people have been asking me how much does it cost to start a reef tank. With all the reef squad here today, we got Lynn, Joy, and then Sally behind the camera. I figure we'll get the help and then we'll tally up how much it costs exactly to have my 45 gallon tank up. So let's come in and take a closer look. Lynn's gonna help me keep track of the dollar amounts. We are gonna start with the life support first. I feel like I'm pretty frugal, but when it comes to things, um, I like to make sure I get the best things at the best price possible. So I went the used route. First thing first, I got the tank, the stand, and the sump. For I think $200 if I remember correctly, and then I got the skimmer for $50. So $250 total, and Lynn is punching it in right now. And then starting start down here for the pump. Now we're only gonna count the equipment that's currently running. I'm not gonna count the equipment that has failed and since passed on. Uh, so the Jibo pump was $90. And the real pump for Refugium was about 30 if I remember right. Some of these may be slightly off, but they're around the ballpark range. And right here we have the media reactor from BLS and I think it's about $70. And with the media inside, let's just call them about $20 and that's kind of cutting on the low side. Now moving down here, we got the Smart ATO. I think it's $150. That's the auto top off. And since we're talking about the auto top off, let's come over here. Uh, this is the uh, ATO container. That is about $95. And there's definitely cheaper ones, but I just like this one, so. And coming back over here, uh, the Marine Pure block in the back, that is $30. And we'll look at this light right here. This is just like Home Depot light is about $15. And the bulb that goes into the light was 30. And I think that's it for the sump. So let's go on and move on to the fun stuff up here. How much is it currently, by the way? 780. <laughs> Shit. I'm surprised you remember all the prices. <laughs> okay, all right, these are kind of like ballpark. Uh, let's look at the light. The light, this is a Radeon Gen 1 before. Uh, it was $200 I got it used when I got the tank and I upgraded it uh, for another extra $200, so 400 total. Uh, so that's, uh, right now it's a Gen 3. And I upgraded the lens to wide angle lens, it's $50. <clears throat> and then I bought the arm because before it's uh, kind of hung from the ceiling. The arm was $90, which is a rip up, I think. Um, so inside the tank, we have the Gyri 130. I think it's 150. And in the back there's a power head. I think it's a G-Bow version as well. It's like $20, it's pretty cheap. It's all the way in the back, yeah. Uh, the screen net is from BLS, DIY version. is $35 if I remember right. Okay, so I think that covers all the equipment for the 45 gallon tank. And what are we up to right now? $1,525. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's actually not that bad. Let's talk about livestock. Oh, actually, that's one more piece of equipment that I really like. Uh, the frack rack. So this is, I think, $29. <clears throat> At first I thought it was damn expensive for a piece of plastic, but it actually works really well. It looks really streamlined. I think it's totally worth it. If you're interested, I'll add it in the video description below. All right, so let's go to the livestock. So we'll go for the obvious ones first. We'll talk about fish, because everybody loves fish. The blue tank. Uh, the blue tang, I got him from Petco maybe a year ago and I got him for $60. He's really healthy by the way, um, for the <laughs> people that hate Petco. Uh, the, the clowns, these are designer clowns, these are, these are the Mocha Da Vinci. And if I have to explain that much, it means they're pretty expensive. <laughs> so I got them from Blue Ribbon Koi, they are $370 for pair. <laughs> they're, they're gasping already. <laughs> and swinging to the side, we got these Yasha Gobi, and I got him as a pair actually um, with the pistol shrimp. And the pair costed, I think it's like 180 for the trio. 180? 180. So those are all the fish. All right, now let's go into corals. You ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, this guy, uh, Space Invader, is 75. Okay. And then Elegance Coral, also 75. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, Gold uh, Warhammer 100. We got the Manipora Cap. I got it when it was a frag, so it's $40. I got another one in the back. I only got a piece, small piece for it now, but it's, uh, that's also 40. Since we're talking about 40, the Gorgonian up here is also 40. That's the OLA Grub, Gorgonian. Uh, green Stop Hollow, I got it from a tank breakdown, so it's pretty cheap. I think it's like about $20. Uh, 
this little piece of green thing is 15. Uh, swing over there, the gold, 24K gold. I can't pronounce this, so I'm not gonna try. I got, uh, it's $95. Up front, um, this piece of Coros Grandes is 20. This piece I actually got from Petco as well, that's uh, 25. Tubs Blue, when I got it, it was 25 from a breakdown as well. Uh, sliding up the Sunny D, that's this one and that one, that's actually from one colony from a breakdown, it was uh, $30. Purple Death, I think I paid 35. I mean, these are a rough estimate. Uh, King Midas, that's six so six Zoas right there. That's 20. These orange skirt Zoas, they're 75. So these are actually great space, kind of like a uh, filler. The Frog Spawn, you'd be surprised by this. I have so many pieces of Frog Spawn. The total, they cost about 80. And sliding over here, let's talk about the big rose bubble to banana in the back first. That is actually $40. And that's actually a great thing from buying from Hobby. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, coming down a little bit, that sad looking bubble to banana is actually the orange bubble to banana It looks fantastic, but not under this light. But that was in an auction for $100. Coming right down the yellow Fiji letter, that was $25 from a tank breakdown. And let's see if I'm, oh yeah, come over on this side. <clears throat> That's a really sad looking goat torch that's all bleached out. That was $60. Um, I think that about covers everything in terms of livestock at this time. Oh, almost actually. Uh, come over here, sorry. On the right side actually. The orange Rebectus. I got them for $20. That's actually really cheap. Uh, coming over here, the green Manipora. I think that was $35 from BLK. This guy was from one of the frag pack. This is maybe about ten dollars, and then come over here the bird nest. I think I got it for thirty from Reef Escape, and over here uh, the really sad looking zoas. These are actually Captain America pallies. They were forty, I think, and I just kind of threw them in the back because I didn't like it. And I think that should cover the livestock um, from here, at least the ones that still alive. Oh, also, also actually the hermit and snails. Hermits, let's just say $20. Snails, I bought a couple badge and well, let's call it $40. And I think that should be it. And now keep in mind, these are the current residents of this tank. There's many, many other ones that have passed on or traded away, uh, which maybe we can get into really quickly later. But right now, how much are we looking at? Do you really want to know? Wait, wait, let, give, them, <laughs> give them a moment. Why don't you guys take like, five seconds to guess how much it is, and I'll leave it in the comment first before we review the answer. <laughs> Four, five, okay, all right. <laughs> $3,394. You know what, that's, that's actually not bad. I was expecting a little bit more. Are you missing something? You forgot oh, something? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, Sweet. fish food, I mean, these are, really quick, let's set them all up. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Uh, $8, $10, <laughs> well, free. Uh, this is $20, and then 15, 15, eight, 20. The streams. And then, yeah, frozen food, let me just go by memory. Uh, frozen food, let's just say a total of about $50. <laughs> and then why, for fun, why don't we go through really quickly um, all the corals and the fish that passed on. I'll do it really quick and we can uh, just come over here to help Josh my man. So Yasha Gobi, I went through two males because they jumped. Um, well, one jump, one disappeared. So they are $60, $60 a piece, so $120. Uh, clams, I went for two. They had Dorisa clam. Each is $70. So you, you have two, right? I had two. Redry and Anemone, that was 190 I added multiple ammo crabs, they all just disappeared. Uh, they are $7 times 5. Uh, Go Torch, I got a colony for about 120 so that passed away. I think that's pretty much it. Like, not too many things actually died in this tank, which is a miracle. <laughs> no, uh, given my name, inappropriate reefer. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. Sally brought up a good point. Uh, what do you say? Um, are we the add water? Okay, are we the add water? Um, the unit I bought for 179 from BLS, great unit by the way. Frag kits. 
uh, including a plug, is probably about 40. I think that's pretty much it, like uh, for the most part. I don't really remember any other big ticket items. Um, so how much are we looking at now? So I didn't miss some. That's fine. It's, right now it's 4,924. I think that's about closer to what I'm uh, thinking. Uh, it's not too bad, given, I mean, I've had this running for about a year and a half. And it's brought me lots of enjoyment, so I think it's totally worth it. Uh, this is now. This is the. I don't. I don't want to say it's the most expensive way of doing it because like corals, I'm still buying from other reefer, so it's good value. I'm buying things to use. It's good value. But there's definitely cheaper ways of running tanks. You don't have. You don't need all these things. For example, let me just point over there. I mean, this is a drop-off tank. It's super simple, and I don't want to. This video is long enough. I don't want to go over the cost of this, and we can totally do this uh, next time. If you guys are interested, but there's definitely cheaper ways of running reef tank. You don't need a full balloon, like salt skimmer, blah blah blah, all those things. So. Yeah, just like mine. Yeah, but uh, I know Lynn has been thinking about starting a reef tank. <laughs> I guess she's gonna buy more stock, make some more money first before jumping in. <laughs> or just look at Sally's. Yes. You can just, just adapt look at this you one. Guys. Adapt this one. Yeah, but uh, basically that is the cost of the 45 gallon tank as of this moment. Not as bad as I thought. I thought it'd be a little bit higher. Uh, what do you guys think? And how close are you when, during your estimate? Pretty curious to see. And how much have you spent on your reef tank? Leave a comment. If you have the, the higher the cost to spend, I'll pin, okay, I'll pin the highest amount, <laughs> like the most expensive reef tank you guys got. And I think we'd be interested to see like how much each of us spent in our, in our crazy hobby. All right, that said, thanks again to all the reef spot for helping out filming this video. This Friday night, we're not out partying, we're nerding out in front of the fish tank. So, thank you. All right, see you guys. Bye.